In this video, 200 players were enrolled in my Minecraft high school where I challenged them to try their very best to establish a realistic school experience completely in Minecraft. You see, welcome to Prince Wes Academy, a home away from home, where students and teachers alike are only hindered by their imagination. Players could do almost anything they wanted. They could create clubs, get bullied, fulfill their studies, do questionable substances, and so much more. The only rule was to not get expelled. What happened in this experiment had to be the funniest experience I ever had in Minecraft, and I can guarantee you, you do not want to miss this. The drama, the cringy moments, and the wild story that came out of this was way worth the experience. I really hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did making it. Now, enough talking, and time for the high school experiment. As always, if you want to play in my events, join my Discord and subscribe to my channel. Now let's do this. Well, it looks like everyone is here. Day one started off with a bang as students filled in to meet their staff and receive a warm welcome from none other than Principal Canary and one of Prince West Academy's most favorite alumni, the Loving Jevil. Welcome everyone to the Prince West Academy. I am your principal, I'm Canary. Hello Prince West Academy! It's wonderful to see you all here today. I am so excited to get to know each and every one of you. This was the perfect opportunity for students to learn about the expectations and culture of Prince West Academy and get a taste of what it's like to be a student at this prestigious institution. And yeah, these are just the people that are going to be in charge of what you do in the school. Once the students were dismissed, we had the chance to meet some of the incredible teachers who'd be guiding them on their educational journey. You see, at Prince West Academy, there were a total of 10 classes a student could take. The first class I decided to attend was Mr. Applewood's class. Mr. Applewood taught economics, and as I'm sitting here listening to his class, I cannot help the fact that I was getting distracted by someone peeping through the window. Please listen, listen. Santa Claus is the ultimate symbol of capitalism because he is everything that a corporation would want. He w his own design was made by a corporation, Coca-Cola, uh, as a marketing stunt. <laughs> this player was Slockman, and the funny thing about him is that I kept running into him. He was the first student to actually offer me a vape in the bathroom just to give me an NRG drink. Sorry, Tommy, would you like some vape? You got a vape? You got a vape? Yeah, it's pretty good. It lets me cope with my bullying problems. Alright, give it to me. Give it to me, Slugman. It's an NRG drink, you fucking idiot. No, it's me. Trust me. Oh. No, he took my bait, son of a bitch. I swear, wherever I went, Slockman was there. Wait, why is he out here? Shouldn't he be in class? Oh my, wait. Wait, what is this? Throwing a weapon wet, huh? Oh my, uh... Kumbaya, Kumbaya, uh, uh, Slockman, hello, hello? Sony, have you heard of Weppawet hosting? Weppawet hosting? What, what? What's that? Weppawet hosting is the, it's the <laughs> best Minecraft server ever. It's what? the best Minecraft server hoster ever. Are you I kidding you're me? using it for your high school server, uh, right? I, I, Yes, I am using it for my high school server. Oh my god! Oh uh, yeah, that's a great fucking idea! <laughs> Slockman is right, WebAWet hosting has been the word around town for massive events like these. For a broke college kid, WebAWet hosting offered me almost everything that I needed, from an easy to use website to staff that really care about their products. They emphasize quality over quantity, and over the course of this event, I have had no issues at all. If you're new to hosting events, or just Java Edition in general, this is the perfect host to use. Their Discord support team responds quickly, and their proud owner, Webowet, goes the extra mile by sending you a DM to ensure everything is working efficiently. It's clear that he takes pride in high quality service. So, Slockman, do you support Webowet hosting? Yes, I support Webowet hosting because it's the best! So, go to the website linked in the description and use code SOGGY to get 20% off your first purchase. Now, let's get back to the high school. So the next class I decided to attend happened to be gym class. The instructors, known as Turkey and Raven, were a formidable duo. It's interesting to note that A Freakin' Turkey, one of the instructors, is not only a war veteran, but he's also been associated with the school for quite a while. Esteemed alumni such as Ish13C and Magicum recall A Freakin' Turkey's coaching as if it was yesterday. He continues to make the students run laps and push themselves to the limits every day. The way you will address me is by sir or sergeant. You will not call me mister. You will not call me turkey. 
You not call me Mr. Twinkle Toes? Is that understood? I will not stand <laughs> for this disobedience. Get your ass back in the gym. Hut, 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 hut. With that being said, during the day, I participated in various classes, each with a distinct approach to the subject matter. However, I couldn't overlook the teacher's difficulties as students skipped classes, indulged in drugs, disobeyed their teachers, and generally acted rowdy. After attempting to talk to Principal Canary about my issues and realizing he had his own problems to deal with, uh, this is your office? I opted to walk around and engage with some of the students instead. That's where I stumbled upon a group whose intentions were unclear. Yeah, we're just uh, managing business. Managing business, but there's no... Aren't you supposed to be in class? What's going on here? They refused to answer anything at this time. But anyways, I also stumbled upon a player named Buckless taking a seemingly significant restroom break. I regret any inconvenience I may have caused, and if Buckless happens to see this video, I would like to apologize for my invasion of privacy. What is okay. Wow! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> but anyways, based on what I observed from the students, the school appeared to be in a rather unfavorable state. It was concerning to note that the school lacked a nurse. In addition to that, Principal Canary struggled to recruit a lunch lady. As a result, one of our counselors had to step in to fulfill that role, which in my opinion was not the most suitable solution. Oh, Bernie, are you not the lunch lady for today? No, guys, we're not to hire a lunch lady. It anybody. was me. It was me. These students should not trust me giving them what they put in their mouth. <laughs> Please make a single fail one time. Can I have some grub? <laughs> Get out from behind the counter. Soggy, he's not giving me grub. During his stint as lunch lady, he even locked up a student called Get Pineapple in a chamber of some kind because, in his words, the student was annoying. I'm in prison. I got locked up by Lord Burning, the lunch lady. Regardless of whatever that was, I was fairly dissatisfied with the quality of work being done within the school and was willing to go as far as shutting it down. As a result, I spoke with Principal Canary to express my concerns and he assured me that day two would see a significant improvement. Going forward, it's going to be made um, painfully obvious that the expectations are going to be a little bit more, uh, how you say, I don't want to say extreme, but um, they're gonna be a little bit more um, worth following. Well, we'll have to wait and see if that promise is kept. Day two started off as students poured into the gym, intrigued by an unusual setup. This academy offers students the opportunity to join pre-existing clubs or establish their own based on their interests. There are two primary clubs to choose from, the House of PvP, which offers a variety of mini-games like Capture Flag, Sumo, Normal Legacy Style PvP, and Monster Arena. And then the House of Building, which organizes Build Battle, Tower Defense, Spleef, and offers students the ability to build their own projects. However, once a student joins a faction, they cannot participate in the other. Most clubs, especially the factions, receive their funding from the Student Government Association, aka the SGA. The SGA, which is the student's opportunity to take on leadership positions to enhance student life at Principal's Academy, comprises of the Executive Board and its divisions. The Executive Board consists of the President, Secretary, and Treasurer, while the divisions include the Prince West Press, PMX Podcast, and Darkest Rose Coffee Roastery. Becoming the SGA President comes with a significant perk. Not only do you get to decide the budget for all clubs and divisions, but you get a free trip to Las Vegas for professional development. Therefore, this position was highly wanted by students. Not only were students trying to recruit members for their clubs, but we also had students campaigning for the student government. I'm running for president myself. I just want to put myself out there and make sure to vote for Brown. Anyways, one notable club that formed was a gold club, and I guess the theme was... <laughs> However, there is one student who even tried to start a track club. Sadly, no one wanted to join, so I laughed and walked away. Uh, well, I want to make a club, but like, nobody's coming over here. Uh, yeah, I want to make a track team, but... Also, while this is all going on, a student named Ehas comes in cross with a piece of cheese on a basketball court. Sadly, he interacted with that piece of cheese and started the cheese touch. It was worse than nuclear cooties. 
Ehas became an outcast. The only way to get rid of the cheese touch was by passing it on to someone else. And so began the cheese touch frenzy. Friend turning on friend, brother turning on brother. It was pure madness. No one was safe. So throughout this entire experiment, the cheese touch was being passed around. Going back to Principal Kaniri's promise, a change from the first day was the addition of disciplinary measures by the faculty to address misbehaving students. Faculty members now had the ability to look through the inventories of students, offering an additional method to stop the flow of contraband. Furthermore, teachers were now equipped with a tool known as the Sent to Principal Stick. If a student was hit with it, they were sent straight to the secretary, a player known as Madsby, to await the principal and their punishment. Students were constantly being sent here for bullying, drug use, and other issues. This is when we were introduced to Frego Wave and his clique. Frego Wave had a reputation for both causing trouble such as rising up the cheerleaders and being popular among the students. Even one of the cheerleaders, Charm, developed feelings for Frago Wave, despite his bad boy image. Unfortunately though, his friend Buckless did not have the same charm and was frequently rejected. Hey uh, Charm, would you like to go to the movies with me later tonight? Sorry, but my heart belongs to another. Okay. Frago Wave's rising popularity made him a top candidate for SGA president, causing concern for division leads like Peppermint and Tumble, who were afraid of losing their positions. They were especially worried because Frago Wave often criticized the current student government leadership. Frago was indeed that guy. Bro, that goofy ass dumb bro. Let me tell you something about him, bro. That bro just looking up all about the lies, bro. You don't even understand, bro. That bro don't do nothing but dumb bad shit for the school, bro. He don't do shit, dude. Despite Frago's popularity among the students, some faculty members, including school counselor Clover, who was loved by all students, did not like him. Counselor Bernie, on the other hand, who disliked his job and co-workers, was also not a fan of Frago. Additionally, other faculty members, such as the librarian, Fortune Dawn, expressed concerns about Frago's behavior. I'm concerned that Hugo has been saying some rather inappropriate stuff in the hallways, and I think we should keep an eye on him. Meanwhile, Principal Canary was dealing with the Academy's most problematic student. Foreign Leaf, who had caused chaos inside the school by obtaining the sense principal stick, Canary had no choice but to take action and show the students that yes, you can be punished in this academy. Okay, listen up, Foreign Leaf. I've seen what you've been doing. You've been harassing my students, disrespecting my faculty, and even using illegal items. Are you kidding me? It wasn't my fault. The games they forced me to do, they started to stab me, and they started to. Yeah, they, they threatened. I didn't want to do it at all. Okay. I, d I don't care about whatever gang you're talking about. Evidently, from what I've seen, you don't respect the rules here. And if you don't respect the rules, you don't respect the school. And if you don't respect the school, then you shouldn't be in it at all. I respect the rules of school very, very much. Very much. Yeah. Well, you haven't shown it. And frankly, I've heard enough. I want you out of my sight and out of my academy. You are now expelled. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! No, 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 no. <laughs> Immediately after Foreign Leaf's expulsion, I decided it would be funny to participate in drug deals in the school. All right, here's your drugs. Here's your drugs. Here's a bag of drugs. Okay. <laughs> what did I just hear? <laughs> yo! Yo! Soggy! You didn't see shit. You didn't see shit. <laughs> Anyways, as the day drew to a close, the faculty gathered a list of the misbehaving students and determined to send them to detention. It was during this time that I encountered Trapex, the security guard, who ran the detention with an iron fist. Oh, Buglas, how's the tension? Why would do thunder underline, but he isn't here. What? Oh, how's the tension, dude? That fucking sucks. <laughs> Get me out, please. As I am walking out of the detention, another student decided to approach me and then proceeds to lure me into the bathroom. I decided to follow as I remember him from the first day. Despite drugs not being an issue anymore, this student informed me that his group, aka the Prince West Mafia, found some critical information. I'm part of this group called oh, yeah. the Mafia. The yeah. Mafia? Wow, real real genius. Okay, what's going on? What, what's a, what, what you got for me? So I have a leader called the Don, and he's been telling the me Don. things. The Don? Oh, been... wow. Oh, this ain't the Godfather, buddy. The Don, who's the Don? Oh. <laughs> He is uh, my boss. I, I don't He's exactly know who you he is. You don't know who the Don is, okay. There's these passageways going throughout the school. I don't know their deal. I don't know why they're there, but they go to everywhere. 
Oh yeah? I so, look hard enough? Okay. my friend Gerard Your is boy. waiting for you in one of these catacombs, and uh, I want you to meet him there. He's got okay. some information right. for you. Some information so for you me. On okay, him. I'm so yeah, yeah, yeah. to Gerard. Okay. Curious about the information shared by Quirker, I teleported to Gerard, who proved to be a resourceful individual. Not only picked up on a hit provided by the Don, but also had formed a secret alliance with security guard Trapex. Together, they made a groundbreaking revelation. It transpired that the school's faculty has secretly constructed an expansive network of catacomb-like tunnels that extended throughout the entire school. The discovery left me in such a state of shock that I couldn't resist discussing it with Far Lost Brand, the math teacher. Astonishingly, he offered to take me to these catacombs. We just fucking met a student down here. And to top it off, I even received an invitation to a pool party taking place on the rooftop of the school. Huh? Dude, they do some shit, dude. I swear, they do some stuff, some weird stuff, dude. What? How do we get up there? Bro, 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 you see this? <laughs> Look at that. What is this? Day two concluded with the SGA election speeches, giving students the ability to vote for the representatives. Additionally, we witnessed Gerard sharing some interesting words with the Supreme Ally, Trapex. Hey, but it's kind of like. Trapex, I got a bone to pick there. with you. <laughs> yeah, you got a bone to pick with me, yeah, huh? Come out here. Come out uh -huh. here right now. Come out here right now. I guess he found something. Let's see what happens next. The start of day three brought about various tensions. Not only were students eagerly awaiting the announcement of the SGA election winner, but it was also a critical moment for organizations who wanted that free trip to Las Vegas. The air was thick with anticipation as everyone wondered what the outcome would be. In the absence of Principal Canary, Vice Principal Itz Ender decided to cancel classes for the day, granting students the opportunity to venture out and discover the hidden treasures of the island. Students were now able to interact outside of their classes and explore the secrets of the island. Students put their differences aside for what Vice Principal Ender called the treasure hunt. Dear students, faculty, and friends, I express my gratitude to each one of you for joining us today. As you are aware, I am granting you all the chance to step outside your comfort zones, explore uncharted territories, and create your own unique stories. An exciting adventure awaits you all in this new journey. So go out and meet new friends, as you never know what the future holds. Best of luck and welcome all to the treasure hunt! Dear Vice Principal Ender, I hope this message finds you well. Unfortunately, I will be absent for most of the day tomorrow due to prior commitments with the Board of Education. I wanted to share with you the outcome of the recent SGA election polls. At this time, it seems that Fuego Wave is doing well in the popular vote. However, you and I likely realize the potential risks of allowing this student to have the responsibility of the school's budget. We need to prepare for any retaliation or unruly behavior as a result of the decisions he makes. In my absence, Make sure to keep me in the loop if anything major comes up, and I will attempt to return near the end of the day if possible. Best of luck, I know you won't let me down. If Fuego wins this election, this could be the end of all of the visions, all the clubs. Tumble, you're overthinking it. I'll talk to Zappy Nubs and see what Gold Club thinks about everything. Tumble, you're acting like the budget is in a rough spot right now. Everything's gonna be fine.
I'm just worried about the polls. Pepper was leading and then Fuego swoops in. He's not even that popular. I mean, he is, but stop worrying. We'll find out soon who won. He is too immature. He shouldn't have this much power. If he does win, I have a plan. Dude, I'm so nervous. The winner and our new SGA president is Fuego Wave. It's almost like you could feel the energy in the room. I don't know, it seems like people are mixed about this. Fuego has just been called to the stage. I think he has something to say. Um, thank you everyone who voted for me. I appreciate your support. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I didn't expect to win, not gonna lie. With the shocking news, Frego was now the leader of the school, and with the announcement of the other SGA winners as well as the conclusion of the treasure hunt, Vice Principal It's Ender granted students the freedom to use the rest of the day as they please. Adding to the excitement, the cheerleaders revealed that there would be a prom on day 4. However, there was one student who remained infuriated by the election results. Tumble, the writer of the Prince West Press, found himself unable to restrain his anger. He rallied the other division leads and decided to meet with Principal Canary. Principal Canary stated that there was nothing he can do and that they were just going to need to learn how to get along. Unlike Tumble, most students shrugged off the election results. This student Rex Racer focused solely on their cats, remained uninterested. The squeeze you and hug you and name you George. Yeah? The buzz among students then turned to prom, with the gold club led by Zappy Nubs gained substantial fame. Oh. Zappy Nubs? Oh Can I join the gold club, please? Oh god, not this <laughs> Their success in the treasure hunt not only brought them wealth, but also elevated Zappy Nubs to a role model status among his peers. It's actually safe to say that Zappy Nubs was more popular than Frego Wave. Interestingly enough, Zappy Nubs and the Gold Club were the ones who initiated the prom asking frenzy. Listen, we have the honor of being one of the most fun and prestigious clubs on this school. And I've got to say, for the time that we've been together, I thought as, you know, prom is just around the corner that just get to it already oh well gold club will you go to prom with me yeah! zappy nubs is officially taking gold club to prom but wait he was not done pepper pepper listen 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 all right shut the fuck up stop talking stop talking <laughs> will you do the honors of being the gold club Shut the fuck up! Just shut the fuck up! What the Please. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my- I wish asking out women was this easy in real life. <laughs> <gasps> wow, you changed really uh. quick. You look great. Sammy! Sam! Sing! Sing! Can you go to prom with me? Uh, okay! <gasps> yes! Despite all this good news, some students weren't as lucky. Buckless, who had already faced rejection once before, found himself experiencing yet another rejection, this time from his friend Lunari. Seems that Buckless just can't get a break. Alright, Lunari. I've been thinking about this for a really long time, and I went out of my way, okay? I got you flowers. I got you drugs. And Lunari, I got you your favorite thing. Uh, box. No way. Will you please go to prom with me? I'll consider it. Why? Oh, what the fuck? You gotta use the box! <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, most students were focused on prom, but our trustee president, Frego Wave, still had a job to do, and that is deciding the school budget. Since I craved the drama and suspense, I decided to make a last minute decision and absolutely tank the school budget. The Board of Education has came through a, a unanimous decision of taking their $1.25 million budget and cutting it pretty much in half. How Those you're- fucking bitches. How you're- <laughs> After the budget was allocated, Frego Wave wasted no time and began working on it. However, to no surprise, he chose to involve his friends Lunari and Buckless in the decision-making process, often disregarding the input of Flash Turtle, the elected secretary. Frego was required to meet with Vice Principal It's Ender often, and he often left out the student during all his meetings. They literally are excluding me. Why am I excluded? I'm literally the secondary. Someone, please! Someone, please! Please! 
During one of these budget meetings, I wasn't surprised to see a suspicious individual associated with the mafia peering through the window. Intrigued, I approached the person and they revealed a shocking claim. The budget process was actually a ploy for the mafia to gain control over the school with Fuego Wave himself being a member of the mafia. Okay, so look, no matter what, there's gonna be a defund that means like things are going to be going away. However, in the mafia's case, there are going to be a lot of unhappy people, which will be really good for the Mafia. If we could push for more defunding, the support for the Mafia will only increase, obviously. Thus, that's why the Mafia wants Fuego as president. Fuego is not only a part of the Mafia, but we want to intend to use him to ensure certain policies help the Mafia in any way possible. However, I think you should come over to Corncurse tonight. The Don has some plans with Fuego, and Corncurse mom, well, she's making some meatloaf, and no lie, she's kind of cute. Please don't tell Corker, please. They invited me to dinner that night to disclose more details, which meant I had to cancel my plans. It actually turned out that the Mafia even met with Tumble, who was determined to do whatever it took to remove Frag away from office. In a desperate move, Tumble even considered hiring the Mafia to find a way to get Frag away expelled. Seizing the opportunity, the Mafia informed Frago Wave about Tumble's plans, leading Frago Wave to make a not so shocking decision to get Tumble expelled as a preemptive strike. Frago Wave devised a scheme to plan drugs and evidence in the Prince West Press office, hoping to frame Tumble for multiple crimes. However, when Frago Wave presented the evidence to its ender, he actually rejected the idea. Sir. Hey. Ender, Ender, uh, Mr. Ender, we have very, very heartbreaking news that we, we found something that we really think you should come see. Seems that he's been doing shrooms, sir. This man and just say shrooms. You would look behind you. Speaking of our recent funding issues, he even is stating that we have infinite funding, thinking he's in a very high position that cannot be touched, which I think is very bad and unhealthy for our leadership. I'm getting a little feeling this was planted. Planting. What? Sir? Okay. Just look, look, look at my eyes. Look at my Do you think I'm smart enough to plant shit? I failed. I failed kindergarten. I don't know how I'm here. I don't know how I got into this high school. It's Ender promptly notified Principal Canary about the situation, prompting him to gather both feuding groups in his office and attempt to resolve the conflict once and for all. Okay. What seems to be the issue? Principal Canary, if I may, but I feel as though f that Fuego Wave isn't competent to serve as our leader in the student government. Time and time again, he has proven his immaturity. Tumble, bro, shut up. You're a massive fucking hell. You're just mad because I won the election and you didn't. Be salty somewhere else. Go cry to your mother or something. You are literally going to screw up the budget. Not only that... We have some Don't evidence to support that Fuego might be a simp, but we are looking for... The drugs! <laughs> Response to the fact that we found drugs on the counter of your bathroom. To me, that sounds a bit sus. Can you show me the drugs? Um, <clears throat> we currently don't have time for it. There's no conclusive That's evidence weird. on either side of her. Um, he literally had drugs in his There's office. <laughs> we have evidence of support. We have evidence of support. Okay, this is inconclusive. Okay, let's, let's move away from the simp thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, the simp thing. <laughs> No, I hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Time out, time out, time out. Okay, that's it, that's it, enough. All of you out of my office. Okay, Alright, so Soggy, let's, let's debrief you. Okay, what's on going on? What's going right, on? Sit down, okay, sit down. Okay, okay, I'll sit down, what's it going on? What's going like on? So, <laughs> recently... We uh, rigged the election to have Fuego win, as he promised to be our little puppet. And he's not really a part of us, but it's just like... the dog poop out of the yard. Please Remember? get out of here. I'm having a meeting. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we, we have plans, and Fuego is a crucial part of them. Big okay. things, me and Trapex, and, and the Mafia. Okay. We got a deal going. Okay, I'm excited to hear that. Honey, Corker, honey, you better not be talking about burning down the school again or hurting anybody or causing chaos. We've gone over this. What, what, where'd you get the burning down the school from? <laughs> Yo, Corker, I would never do that. School, Mother, who would dare you excuse me? Hey, man, I don't do roll that. like that. Be smart, like, make good choices. We would <laughs> never do that, Miss Miss Corker. Burning down the school is a good choice. Um, it's Mrs. okay. Uh, so what? what how, why? Why? Why is this? Why are you so like tense on taking over the school? What? What is the point of this? Well, the see. Don. Uh, the, the, okay, who is the Don, dude? I swear. Not only did Corker mention him, but not only the Snow mentioned him, but who the hell is the Don? The Don's the man behind the shadows, the one who tells us what to do. Who is he? Sounds like Slenderman. He is the Don. 
He's the- You shouldn't ask too many questions. Is that it? Worker, honey? Would you and your friends like any any cookies or anything? Your dad's offering to go run out and get some milk. Cookies! <laughs> uh, I want some cookies. Can I have some cookies? He's been looking for milk for a really long time. I think I think he's I think we're good. Okay. That's all that's all you need to know. So all right, I think me yes. and my, my man Slockman we're gonna head out. I appreciate you guys inviting wait, 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 me over. Wait, 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 we're not gonna we're not gonna head out yet. We still need those brownies. Hold on. And thus, the following day commenced. Frego Wave followed through with defunding the press, resulting in Tumble losing his job. Furthermore, the houses faced defunding, depriving the students of their beloved clubs. Recognizing that a riot would only bring chaos and jeopardize their much anticipated prom, the students took a stand. Zappy Nubs, along with other club leaders, united the students and joined forces with Tumble in an attempt to impeach Frego. However, the faculty remained adamant and resistant of the idea. Consequently, a divide emerged between students and teachers, escalating into physical altercations and fights. Principal Canary faced a pressing issue as tensions escalated within the school. On top of that, he received news that two special guests would be attending the graduation ceremony to deliver speeches. Recognizing that he needed to reunite school spirit and generate excitement, Principal Canary made a calculated choice. He decided to invite the infamous Scyther Academy to engage in a football game against the Prince West Academy Knights, aiming to infuse renewed energy and unity into the school community. In addition to that, the librarian, Nathan's Cookie, opened up his hidden archives for students to explore, offering them a much needed escape from their current concerns. Meanwhile, unknown to the students, the Mafia was secretly working on executing their plans. Gerard and uh, security guard Trapex finally forged a devious agreement that would put the Mafia on top. The Mafia prepped for its big event that is planned to happen during prom. Regardless of the circumstances, both the Mafia and the Student Alliance, led by Zappy and Tumble, eagerly awaited the approaching prom, each organization with their own plans that resolved around the fall and elimination of the current SGA president, the man himself, Frego Wave. Good evening, everybody. My name is Midnight Star, and I would like to welcome you all to Prince West Academy for this evening's football game. Dude, this is nuts! Okay! Please rise for our national anthem! I said rise, damn it! Rise! You know, Midnight, the Scythers are really a terrifying opponent for the Knights to be facing today with an undefeated eight-game win streak during the entire Whoa. season compared to the Knights' three to four record. Now, I think part what? of this is due to- Howdy, howdy. What? So yeah, as uh, Kanuki's saying, the Scythers are very terrifying. Sir, just like Kanuki's sir, saying. can you- uh, this is this is my seat, sir. Can you please vacate the premises? This is this is this is my seat. <clears throat> Bless you. Uh, so yeah, we got the hey, site there. Sir, which you are need to leave. Can, can we get security in here? Hey, that's not nice. I'm gonna call my mommy on you. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> anyway, on the left side, coming from Scyther Academy, we have the Scyther. Let's go, let's go. Like yes, it go. Sir. Yes, sir. On your shot. right, we have your very own Prince West Academy Knights! Oh. I light up, boys, light up! Light up in formation! Frank away snaps the ball. There he goes! Go, 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 go! You know, Midnight, the Scythers are really bringing it today, putting up a solid 340 passing yards to the Knights, 80 passing yards. Ain't that the truth, Kanuki? Third down, one minute to go. All the Knights need is a touchdown to win the game. Twiggle Wave has one more shot. He snaps the ball. He throws it. Ball is caught to the end zone. Touchdown, Knights! Knights win the game!
He's Looks like the entire man. mafia is out here right That's now. Terrible, Wait, bro. here comes Trey Pex. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're ready. Let's go. Okay, then let's go. Wait, where is he taking them? Oh, Wait, they're going into the catacombs. Okay. Your distraction, Gerard, is a flip to steal, okay? I hope you're ready for it. Check the boxes on the left. Sign, drop through that trap door, and then go. Fall in love and tear it down as soon as we wake up. Promise you the world tonight, I show you what I've got. Your body speaks my language and you read me like a book. But this night means forever and so does me and you. Hey, hurry up, come on guys, I don't have all this right here. Rich! We're rich! We're rich! We did it! This is where it's gonna be the end of the okay? Wait, why are they putting it out? The students then met in the auditorium to discuss the fire. But I want you all to know that me and my friends, Hornker, Naka, X, Snow, and Who64 all got water buckets and saved the school from burning down. We are here for you. We are honestly like it was crazy because I don't know, it was it was all a big mess. Um, I'm a little I'm a little shaken up. Thank you for your incredible work today. The Beatles come out again. Um, we gotta show credit where credit's due. I just got confirmation. I went back in. It was the printers. One of them must have exploded. I I don't know what happened, but Gerard, I did see you and your crew out there. So thank you very much. Looks like they just brought Slockman on the stage. He has something to say. But since I was the one who saw, start, uh, who saw the fire first, I also saw who started it. And that person, that person's name is Tumble underscore. Wait, what? Oh, who is that guy? So oh, God damn it, he should be charged for his crimes against the school. He should be killed. Thank you. Why would Slockman, the beloved nerdy kid, often seen behind the windows, loved by all, point fingers at Tumble, a fellow student for the school fire? What drives him to support the Mafia's plan? Amidst confusion, Tumble became the primary suspect for the fire, boosting the Mafia's influence. Fregowave's credit claim failed while Tumble, Zappy Nubs, and allies accused the Mafia without proof. The Mafia's intervention in saving the day weakened the popularity of both Tumble and Fuego Wave, allowing them to establish dominance in the school. However, questions still need to be answered. What is the mystery surrounding the Mafia? Who exactly is the leader? And what are their motives? With the school being in complete chaos, Principal Canary received advice from multiple sources, including faculty members like Counselor Bernie, who saw the school as unsafe, and the current on-site officers. Yet, despite being presented with the option to shut down the school due to these challenges, 
Kaniri decided to turn a blind eye, he was aware that the presence of two esteemed guests held the promise of not only enhancing the school's conditions, but also providing a substantial amount of funding. With this in mind, Kaniri chose to keep the school operational with a condition of blocking off heavily burnt areas. Tumble and other club leaders were stunned that the school was still functioning. However, they had pressing matters. While the Mafia was busy collecting tickets for their Las Vegas journey, Tumble and his team were engaged in a quest to discover incriminating evidence against the Mafia. Fuego Wave trying to claim Mafia affiliation for fame was discredited due to his poor firefighting involvement. Frustrated, he questioned the Mafia, asking why he wasn't involved about putting out the fire. The Mafia simply explained that he just missed a meeting, leaving him out of the loop. Slockman, also approached by curious students, shifted blame onto Frega Wave, decreasing his popularity even more. However, amid the confusion, the faculty opted to stay out of student affairs and proceeded as usual. Yet, when Casey unleashed a mutant beast, Counselor Bernie and Security Guard Trapex saw this as the breaking point. don't understand why it takes a fire and a biohazard to still not close down the school uh, if we can't get, get these people in charge to close down the school maybe we need to bring in someone who can yeah let's do it huh Oh my god, out of all odds, Counselor Bernie decided it would be best to call the cops on the faculty for various crimes. The person who was supposed to protect the students and the faculty in the end thought it would be best to destroy the school from the inside, blaming them for the school fire, the catacombs, and almost everything the faculty did at this absurd academy. The school was no longer operational, and Principal Canary had no choice but to shut down the school. Yet by some miracle, Zappy Nubs, leader of the Gold Club, offered to not only pay the bail for the faculty, but to fund the entire school. I, Zappy Nubs, the leader of the Gold Club, propose to liquidate all of our assets to help refund the school and bail out the teachers so that we can at least finish our education. Let, take, take it all. Just take it, just take it all. Just take, take it all. I'm, I am incredibly wealthy. Uh, one might even say that we're rich. Is, is that enough? That has to be enough. This isn't enough. Wait, what? Did you check in this morning though? This isn't enough. Oh, oh wait, I have an idea. Uh, uh my dad can pay for it. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he'll, there he is. Huh? That's right, little cumtism from my frat maze video decided to come in and fund the school. Let's just say he had some very wise words. You're all poor. <laughs> You're all poor. So you get your fucking graduation shit right and uh, like, graduate. We can get jobs, fucking poor fucks. Get money, get hoes, buy strippers. It's graduation day at Prince West Academy, and the students sure seemed excited. Even Gold Club. Despite the mystery surrounding the teacher's bail release and the ongoing investigation into the school fire, the academy buzzed with its usual activities. I eagerly anticipated the unique exams created by our amazing teachers. Gotoga had his students embarking on a thrilling Pokemon scavenger hunt. While a freaking turkey led his students into the trenches for an engaging warfighting experience, Casey, on the other hand, opted for a traditional written exam. And Mullis, well, he had his students taking the stage for a play. Well, what's uh, what's eating that? Like uh, like wheat, you know? What? You know, like wheat bag, you know? However, Applewood's exam, which involved simulating a truck heist, truly intrigued me, and naturally, I couldn't resist participating. Okay, in about 
three minutes from now, a truck is gonna pass through that tunnel over there, and it's gonna have a lot of money in it. Now, Whoa. everything I can make what? is leading up to this very moment. Everyone, please. Oh. Oh, oh. Cool. follow yo, me. Yo, <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Roadblock, it should be in the back. Uh, it should be there, man. Go oh, Art, let's go. Art, right, let's go, 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 go. I'll get the legs. Get the legs. Go, go, go. Get the legs. Right, go, go, go. Get the legs. This is the safe. Everyone, back up. I'll throw a grenade. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. Uh, what? Oh, yo. Go, go, go. I got the money. Get, the money. Yeah, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. As the exams progress, Principal Canary seemed to enjoy the festivities. With the school decked out in fresh decorations restored to its former glory, his stress appeared to vanish. He radiated excitement as he welcomed the esteemed guests to his prestigious academy, promising them an unforgettable experience. Let's just say their welcome was unforgettable. Why are all these cops staring at me? <laughs> uh, security. Security. You know, uh, ten years ago, you know, I'm coming back. Uh, okay, okay. What do you do now? Uh, you know, I'm not too sure myself, but I think... Okay, Alright, we have hug. a... We have to funny. Hey, There's the perfect creeping yeah, in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. Both Ish and Magicum were thrilled to return to their former academy. But Ish had a particular reason for his excitement. He needed to pay a visit to his former teacher, none other than a freaking turkey. Sure there, a turkey? Is he still working here? Uh, he is! Oh, uh, um... What the hell you doing? It's great to see you. Man, you turned yourself around. Look at you. Turkey long, turkey long. But hey, do not hit my wife. What? My God, you married. There's so many people. I remember that yesterday, bro. Why? Why change? Things have changed. Things have changed. Yeah, I remember. I remember making you run laps five thousand pounds. Sir, I've been notified to you for this book. Yeah, you certainly made me run a lot. I was never really good at it, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <it's your laughs> <work. laughs> I tried my best, though. I tried my best. Sure did. However, despite their excitement at the prospect of seeing both Ish and Magigum, some students were more focused on unraveling the mystery and ensuring that the teachers were relieved of their charges. Tumble, Zappy Nubs, and Clover, who had taken the role of investigators, finally had the necessary information and resources to unveil the truth. The Black File. With the release of the Black File, the students were now able to see the truth. It was revealed that Frango Wave had indeed been the leader of the Mafia, and his supposed efforts to save the school were merely a ploy to gain popularity. Frango Wave was cast aside, much like other members of the Mafia who were forced to flee. Shockingly, however, instead of feeling bad for Tumble, the one who has been framed, students felt bad for Slockman. It was discovered that Frago Wave has bullied him into blaming the fire on Tumble, making Slockman the unwitting hero and most popular student in the school. As the Black File exposed the students responsible for the fire, the graduation ceremony had arrived, and the investigation team was running out of time to identify the faculty member responsible for providing the students with the necessary tools. Nevertheless, though, they refused to give up. Unfortunately, time was running out, and it was Ish and Magicum who took the stage. Good evening, <laughs> graduates. Faculty, uh, parents, if there are many parents here, and friends. Students and victims, I, I mean graduates, esteemed faculty and fellow survivors. Today we gather to celebrate the endurance, strength, and sheer luck of our graduating class. First and foremost, I would like to take a moment to remember those who didn't make it through our unique high school experience. Let's have a moment of silence for Jimmy, who fell victim hey guys, to dodgeball in gym class. You have worked incredibly hard to get to this moment, and you should all be proud of your achievements, even Wabatha. Today marks the end of one chapter in your lives and the beginning of another. As we stand here today, I can't help but think about the rigorous curriculum we've endured over the past four years, from the basics like English and math, to more, to more specialized courses like Gator Wrestling 101 and how to outrun a swarm of bees. Our education has truly been one for the books. But let's be honest, it wasn't all that bad. Or you'll drop out. Some of you will enter the workforce, become professional builders or redstoners. I've heard many of you are already proficient redstoners without the red. Whatever path you choose, 
Remember that the education you have received here at Prince West has prepared you well for the challenges and opportunities ahead. As you leave today, please be sure to thank the faculty for all they have done. Ender becomes the two millionth Minecraft player to have the name Ender as their username. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's take a moment to appreciate our dedicated teachers, Mrs. Right. Smith and our chemistry teacher, who taught us not only the periodic, ta periodic table, but also the finer <laughs> points of mixing chemicals to create homemade smoke bombs. When I was a student here many years ago, I was never really good at exercise. In 12th grade, the gym teacher gave me a D. That's how I got an A. Lastly, thank you to the students and uh, any faculty I may have missed. And of course, you are the reason this all happened. So you should be ashamed of yourselves. And just like that, it all came to an end. The students graduated. Trapex found himself behind bars and everything fell into its rightful place. Tumble returned to his newspaper, writing passionately, narrating the tale of the high school. The Gold Club continued doing what they knew best, and that was being the Gold Club. While some students relaxed at the local coffee shop, some decided to put on a cringy, and I mean cringy, play. <laughs> However, students like Buckless decided to learn Riz for the first time. Watch this video. Are you a creeper? Because you just, you just blew me away. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There's no way that shit works. See, I'm like, I'm getting all the cookies right now. But most importantly, we cannot forget about Slockman, the man who remained true to himself and always had a smile. The man who had it all and became all. Slockman was that guy. Who wants to see me belly flop this motherfucker? Yet despite all the stories that were told, there are many more that need to be written. But for now, this is a good place to end. Oh my god, what is the ringtone, man? Hey, what's up? Hmm? I just want to see you up uh, I'm playing show. Minecraft. Hmm? Well, do you want to come hang out with me for a little bit? Uh, no, I'm hosting a Minecraft experiment. Dude, this is literally- I like promise you, Sophie, you this know. is the last week. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. Wow. Trapex, let's go. You have a visitor. Oh. Okay. Where are we? Uh, don't worry about it. Slockman? Hello, Trapex. So, your work has impressed me, and I need you for something. You might know me as Slockman, but the Mafia knows me as the Don. Oh, shit. Join Slockman and Trapex in an all new social experiment. Welcome to Las Vegas. Link in the description.